Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are receiving this HP printer installer error that is 0x800F020B then please follow the steps shown in this video. You can go to your system manufacturer website. So if you have a Dell computer, you can go to Dell website. If you have Lenovo computer, you can go to Lenovo. If you have HP computer, go to HP website and install the drivers from system manufacturer website. So you can ignore this update on your Windows 11 computer. You can just update it from the manufacturer website. Now, if you're not experiencing any hardware issue, then there is no need to install these drivers. Mm -hmm. Now, to get rid of this error and to get rid of these drivers, you can install show and hide troubleshooter. So you can go to Google and in Google, you can just type in show or hide update troubleshooter windows download. So in Google search, you can type in this and then click on search and download show and hide troubleshooter from any website. Now, once you download this show and hide troubleshooter from Microsoft website, you can run this file. So you can go to downloads. You have to download it from third party website or maybe from Microsoft website. If this is available, one, once you find it, download it. You can double click and then run this. And here you can see it is from Microsoft Corporation. So here you can see show or hide updates. Now click on next. and let the search complete. Now over here, click on hide updates. Now, once you click on hide updates, you will see all the drivers over here, which is not installing right now. So you will see the list over here, like Intel, Intel software component, Dolby, Dell, Intel, Realtek software component. So whichever driver is not installing, you will see the list over here. So you have to put a check on that list. So Put a check on the driver which you want to get rid of it, which you don't want to install, which is giving you the error message. Put a check on that particular driver and then click on next. And let the process complete. Now this driver would be hidden now. So you can close this and then restart your computer. Now after the system restart, you can open Windows settings and you can go to Windows update and then click on check for update you will not see that update anymore. So that should help you to fix this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.